We are on the verge of a war for which we are still unprepared and for which no one has offered a feasible plan for victory. A war which cannot be won without sending our soldiers across the ocean to a force to force a landing on a hostile coast against armies stronger than our own. We are on the verge of war. But it is not yet too late to stay out. It is not too late to show that no amount of money or propaganda or patronage can force a free and independent people into war against its will. It is not yet too late to retrieve and to maintain the independent American destiny that our forefathers established in this new world. The entire future rests upon our shoulders. It depends upon our action, our courage, and our intelligence. If you oppose our intervention in the war, now is the time to make your voice heard. Help us to organize these meetings, to write to your representatives in Washington. I tell you that the last stronghold of democracy and representative government in this country is in our House of Representatives and our Senate. There we can still make our will known, and if we, the American people, do that, independence and freedom will continue to live among us, and there will be no foreign war. From Lindbergh by A. Scott Berg, 1998. Peace, Lindbergh felt, could exist only so long as we band together to preserve the most priceless possession, our inheritance of European blood, only so long as we guard ourselves against attack by foreign armies and delusion by foreign races. He viewed aviation as a gift from heaven to those Western nations who were already the leaders of their era, a tool specifically shaped for Western hands, a scientific art which others only copy in a mediocre fashion, another barrier between the teeming millions of Asia and Grecian inheritance of Europe, one of those priceless possessions which permit the white race to live in a pressing sea of yellow, black, and brown. Lindbergh believed the Soviet Union had become the most evil empire on earth and that Western civilization depended on repelling it. And the Asiatic powers that lay beyond its borders, the Mongol and Persian and more, he wrote about, he wrote about it also depended on a united strength among ourselves, on a strength too great for foreign armies to challenge on a Western world, a race of arms which could hold together either a Genghis Khan or an infiltration of inferior blood. Page 394. And that is the end of The Plot Against America.